out to Frank Powers with WJXT. Frank, this is a little hard to believe. What happened? Well, the latest on this case, Nancy, is that uh, just this morning, uh, Reed Gray, who investigators have called the victim in this case, uh, was on national TV. He's standing by his wife. He believes she was kidnapped. And then because of her uh, mental disorder, a bipolar disorder, uh, that she bonded with the, uh, the suspect and uh, began to participate in this uh, plot to extort $50,000 from Reed Gray. Now, there are a number of times when they tried to arrange a ransom drop of up to $50,000. It never worked out and she was released uh, before any of the money was exchanged. Take a look at these photos. She looks like Heather Locklear. She's absolutely beautiful. Okay, to Mark Williams, anchor and reporter, also joining us out of the Florida jurisdiction. Mark, tell me the background. This guy is extraordinarily wealthy. They live there on the Ponte Vedra coast. Why did she need money? She had uh, money. She, she had, had his money. Oh, she had. She she said she could go to the bank and get as much money as she needs. Her husband Reed Gray is a uh, healthcare executive, makes over a million dollars well, a year. Wait a minute! Didn't he found the company? Yes, as he did. Plus, they live in a four million dollar home right along the uh, this exclusive seaside resort. She found this gentleman, this twenty six year old boy toy, as I call him, by the name of Yasmin. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute! Did you say twenty six? Twenty six? He's twenty six. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hey, you know, I can't make any of this up, Nancy. You know that. My credibility rides on everything. But Yasmin Asmatovic, uh, she, he and, uh, and uh, Quinn Gray cooked up this scheme to, to extort that $50,000. It was never delivered. Obviously, there's audio tapes of them uh, making love. Take a listen to Quinn, the alleged kidnapped victim along with boyfriend on tape.